Are you using the AO486 core on your mister? Do you have files that you want to move on and off of the core's virtual hard drive? If you're having trouble getting Mr. FS working, then I have a great solution. After you boot your mister, hit F9 to bring up the Linux console. Log in as root, then make a new directory called DOS share. Next, run the command LO setup with the F and capital P flags and give it the path to your virtual hard disk image. Then, get a directory list of slash dev slash loop star and you should see a loop number P1 entry listed. Type mount space that loop file path space DOS share and hit enter. Now you can browse DOS share like any other folder with a tool like Midnight Commander. Be sure to unmount DOS share before starting AO46. So there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, but how does all that work? A VHD or virtual hard drive is a single big file that contains the same data structures that a real drive would have. The AO486 core can make one or more VHDs available to the emulated PC as IDE devices. On this type of PC setup, it's the BIOS that gives any running software access to media devices plugged into the computer. When the computer starts up, the BIOS scans the floppies and hard drives in a user-defined order until it finds something it can boot from. For the age of PC that AO486 is emulating, the BIOS checks the start of each hard disk for a data structure called a master boot record. The master boot record structure allows defining up to four partitions. You can have more than that, but uh, we're just going to skip logical partitions for now. The space on hard drives is broken up into chunks called sectors. The master boot record is found in sector zero of the hard drive. Let's leave the PC side of the mister and head over to the Linux side. That LO setup command turns a file on your hard drive into something Linux can treat like a real hard drive. It uses a concept called a loopback to allow Linux to treat the file as a block device. Block devices are things that operate in, well, blocks of data. Sectors are blocks of data, you know. Giving LO setup the capital P flag makes LO setup read the master boot record and create device entries for each partition it finds. With those partitions now in dev, we can mount one of them to access it. On Linux, partitions are mounted onto empty folders on an existing file system. Once it's mounted, going into that folder lets you access that device's partition, so you can copy your sweet games onto it to play later. So, that's how you can get files onto your AO486 core's hard drive without needing to use MrFS. Enjoy your retro computing!